Hello everyone, welcome to another week in Ethereum news with an exciting roadmap coming from Vitalik Buterin himself. Let's take a look. Okay, first we're going to start with the ecosystem news. This is just news in the ecosystem in general, um, applications on Ethereum, general news. Vitalik Buterin, he said, by popular demand, an updated roadmap diagram for 2023. Vitalik is obviously the founder of Ethereum, and this is something that you'll want to spend a few minutes really looking at, but <clears throat> all important projects, or technology proje projects around the world, usually follow roadmaps. Ethereum is a project with, you know, thousands of scientists, tens of thousands of engineers on like distributed around the world, um, a global community building this amazing network. And there's a lot of different things going on to continue to move it forward. So there's various sections, the merge, the surge, the scourge, the verge, the purge, the splurge, which is really, really funny names. But each of them have a really important purpose. You can see the goal for each of them. Um, go ahead and check this out. For people who are not following Ethereum very closely, this might not be very valuable information. If you are a serious investor, it is important to pay attention to the roadmap because Ethereum is the most cutting edge project in the entire crypto industry. Anyone who tells you otherwise is uh, drinking some weird Kool-Aid. So we're going to move on. We have Sam. He's a co-founder of Phoenix Labs, which is building on top of MakerDAO. He has a great thread that says, I want to kick off 2024 with an educational post about the MakerDAO ecosystem. You know, he says how memes have had a strong influence in crypto and can persist for a long time. And there's some memes or misconceptions about MakerDAO that are still going on. And you know, how DAI is just wrapped USDC, which is not true. Um, how revenue will go down for MakerDAO when the yields go down, which is also not true how Maker performs badly in a bull market, which is sort of true, but is going to be corrected, uh, and a few other things. It's important to know that Maker currently has a price to earnings ratio around 16, which makes it literally like a value stock if you were going to talk to like Warren Buffett or like a value investor. And it's a really, really um, dominant ecosystem. And this year in 2024, they're going to do a token split for Maker with an entirely new brand and a brand marketing push. And so the ratio of tokens is gonna to go from one and they're gonna split it up into 24,000 pieces. So right now, you know, most unsophisticated investors, when they look at assets, they'll look at the price. In MakerDAO, the price is like $1,600. It's like $1,600. People say, oh, that's expensive. And it's because, you know, what matters in assets is asset price, times supply equals market cap. All that matters is actually the market cap. The price doesn't matter because it, the, the price only matters as much as the supply. But because the market is not that smart and investors like to see cheap assets, um, they're going to re-denominate maker. It's going to go from $1,600 per coin to like 16 cents or something. And uh, we expect this in line with a lot of other narratives combining to make MakerDAO probably moon pretty hard this cycle. And so there's already a meme going around of, you know, maker to $1. And uh, that would probably be more than like a 10x or something. So worth paying attention to MakerDAO. You're likely going to see it do big things this cycle. Moving on, Renzo. Renzo allows you to restake your ETH and never worry about eigenlayer caps. Um, so eigenlayer is the massive shared security protocol that is going to hyperscale Ethereum. Um, that's a whole nother subject, but... Um, for people who want to earn the eigenlayer airdrop, they can now deposit their funds into Renzo. They can earn ETH staking rewards. They can also earn their eigenlayer points. And now they can also earn what they're calling easy points, which are Renzo's points. So the whole world of Ethereum liquid staking eigenlayer airdrops is a deep ball game. But check out Renzo to learn more if you're paying attention to that stuff. Next layer two news. This is obviously the teams and the projects building on top of Ethereum. First, we have Arbitrum. Arbitrum is the largest Ethereum layer two. It's the this is the official count of the Arbitrum Foundation, which is scaling Ethereum through a lot of technologies. They just did a nice little wrap up of 2023. Um, you know, 